Hello everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome back to Fantasy Food Show. In the background here is my assistant Kiki, and she's sunbathing in our lights. Well, some of you have been asking me um, when we upload new videos. And um, we try to do one every week or so, but with our schedules, it's not always possible. So if you'd like to be notified by email, just look for the bell icon, which is going to be either right under the video, or if you're on your iPad, it could be to the upper right-hand corner. And if you click on that, you can turn on your notifications, and that will let you know every time that I upload a new episode. But we appreciate you watching our videos and helping to grow our channel. Today on the show, I wanted to take a little break from video games and movies and focus on board games or tabletop games. And a couple of years ago on her channel, How to Cook That, Anne Reardon made a chocolate Scrabble game. I thought that was really, really cool. And I'll leave a link to that in the description box below so you can check that out if you want. So I'm going to use that exact same technique to make this game of Jenga into chocolate. But of course, that wouldn't be fantastic enough for the show. So today, I'm going to show you how to make this rainbow chocolate Jenga. Let me show you how it's done. To make the chocolate Jenga, you will of course need lots of chocolate. I'm using candy melts in different colors today. One bag will make about eight to nine Jenga blocks. Using real chocolate will taste better, but you'll need to temper it so that it sets firm at room temperature. And if you don't know what I mean by tempering, I'll leave some info on that on the fantasyfoodshow.com website. You'll also need some food safe molding gel, a large container to make your mold in, a heat proof bowl, a butter knife, a spoon, an offset spatula, and a box cutter or a craft knife. And of course you'll need some real Jenga pieces. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is wash our Jenga pieces. And the way I did that was just take a damp cloth and just wipe them off. I wouldn't submerge them in water because they're untreated wood and you might warp your pieces. So once you've done that, just put them aside for later. Now, the way that we're going to make the mold is by using this reusable silicone molding compound. And this is actually by a company called Composimold. In fact, I don't know if it's silicone. This is the food safe one. I think it's actually made of gelatin. Uh, but I found this on Amazon. And you can also find it on their website, composimold.com. But I'll put a link to it in the description box below. And this stuff is really great because you can melt it and make a mold and then remelt it and make another mold. And it's reusable for quite a while. And I went ahead and I put it in this microwave safe container here because although it comes in a container they say is microwave reheat only, um, it kind of, my microwave kind of melted a little bit. So I put it in this container here. Now I'm going to pop it into the microwave, melt it, and we're going to make the mold. Apply a small amount of the molding gel to the back of the Jenga pieces and place them into your container, making sure to leave some space around each piece as you do this. Then slowly pour the rest of the gel into the container, letting it cover all of the pieces. Tap the container lightly on your counter to help move some of the bubbles up to the surface. Then use a toothpick or a wooden skewer to move any of the bigger bubbles away from the pieces so you get a smoother finish. Let the mold set completely, either at room temperature, or you can speed this up by putting it in the freezer. When the mold is set, run a knife around the sides of the mold to help release it, and then work your knife into a corner, get a grip on the edge, and then work the mold out of the container. Then use your craft knife to cut around the top edge of each piece, and slowly peel the pieces from the mold. It's easy to clean up your Jenga pieces. Just rub your finger on the surface, and any excess gel should come right off. All right, I'm ready to make my chocolate Jenga pieces. And I've taken those candy melts and I put them in the microwave at 50% power for one minute, gave it a stir around, 30 seconds, stir, 20 seconds, stir. And I just did that until they were all melted and nice and runny here. And I've also taken my mold and I propped it up on some of those Jenga pieces and that's gonna help with any runoff. And I put it on some wax paper here just to catch any of that chocolate. And uh, you could also use a silicone mat if you have one. And have your palette knife or your offset spatula ready. And now we're gonna mold our chocolate. So, taking some of that, pour it here. Spoon the melted chocolate into each cavity and dab the spoon as you go along to help get out some of the air bubbles. Then smooth the tops with your offset spatula. Let the chocolate set completely. Again, you can speed this process up by putting it in the freezer. When the pieces are firm, gently work them out of the mold. Don't worry if they look a little messy at this point, we can clean them up later. Trim up the edges with a butter knife, and if you find that the tops are uneven, you can take a hot saucepan, place the pieces onto the pan for a few seconds, 
wipe off some of the excess on some wax paper and allow them to set flat. Repeat this process with the rest of your colors, then stack them up to create your rainbow chocolate Jenga. Now wash your hands and it's time to play. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. What board games would you like to see featured on the show? Let me know in the comments below. Check out the full recipe for this and all of our other episodes on the website, fantasyfoodshow.com, and see you soon.